The Battle of Lao Cai was fought between Chinese and Vietnamese forces during the Sino-Vietnamese War. Though the Chinese sustained heavy losses in fighting, they were successful in capturing and occupying the city of Lao Cai and the surrounding towns. Chapter 1 – Planning and Order of Battle the Chinese People's Liberation Army Kunming Military Region took responsibility for Chinese operations in Lao Cai direction, which involved the 11th and 13th Armies from the Kunming Military Region itself, and the 14th Army from the Chengdu Military Region, totaling about 125,000 troops. The three armies was followed by the Reserve 149th Division of the 50th Army, as well as many support units. The invasion comprised three prongs of advances, while the 11th Army was assigned to attack Phong To before hooking up to Sapa and Lao Cai from the west, the 14th Army was ordered to take Mong Kong and move against Lao Cai from the east, the central thrust was undertaken by the 13th Army, targeting Lao Cai itself, as well as the township of Cam Duong to the south dock for the Vietnamese side. Historians believe that the defense of the Hoang Lien Sun province was conducted by several regiments of the Vietnam People's Army, some of which consisted of the regular 345th and 316th Divisions. The 345th, which had originally been an economic construction unit transformed into a combat division, took responsibility for defending Bao Thang, while the elite 316th was garrisoned in the Binh Lu area. The two regular divisions were backed up by some 20,000 troops from regional and militia units. Chapter 2 Battle The battle began before the dawn of 17 February by a Chinese artillery barrage against Vietnamese positions. The first objectives for the PLA were the towns of Bat Zat, Muong Kong, and Pha Long. 20,000 troops from the PLA 13th Army crossed the Red River into Bat Zet using pontoon bridges, quickly overrunning the Vietnamese defense held by the VPA 192nd Regiment, as well as the Independent 2nd and Lao Cai battalions. No attack was staged against Phong To on the first day. The brunt of Chinese assaults fell on the VPA 345th Division, which resisted toughly. Two Chinese regiments were held off at Mong Zhen and in the area south of Chu Dang and west of Nia Sun, which forced the PLA to change their plan into a mop-up operation against the Vietnamese strongholds. By the dusk of 18 February, the Vietnamese defenders in Bao Thang and Koh Lu had been completely encircled. At 1400 hours on 19 February, the PLA captured Lao Cai City. In response to the loss of the provincial capital, the VPA 345th Division Command sent one battalion from its 118th Regiment to reinforce its 121st Regiment's positions at Koh Tha, Di Na, Dung Ha, and Chan Wei, while the VPA 316th Division was mobilized eastward to Sapa. Having taken Lao Cai, the PLA then sent troops, presumably from the 13th Army, to Cam Duong to the south, and another group advancing along Highway 4D to Sapa which was 38 kilometers to the southwest. The Kunming Military Region Command used fresh elements from the 149th Division and the 11th Army to reinforce the 13th Army in the efforts against Cam Duong. A blocking position was established by four companies from the PLA 39th Division of the 13th Army on Highway 10 at Thay Nai to cut the VPA 345th Division from supply. The VPA 316th Division was then dispatched from Sapa to meet the approaching Chinese forces, and ran into contact on the secondary road between Lao Cai and Sapa on the 22nd of February. From 22 to 25 February, its 148th Regiment launched repetitive attacks against the Chinese bloc at Thay Nai, but failed to break through and secure its way to Cam Duong. Two PLA divisions from the 13th Army, the 37th and 38th, were deployed against the VPA 345th Division, which was defending a narrow area north of Cam Duong. By the 25th of February, the Chinese had seized Cam Duong, yet were still struggling to exterminate pockets of Vietnamese resistance in Lao Cai and other towns under their control, a situation which had not ended until 27 February. On the 24th of February, the PLA decided to supplement their reserves, the 149th Division, to the fight against the VPA 316th Division. 
Chinese efforts now concentrating on cutting off the retreat of the VPA 316th Division, as the PLA 447th Regiment skirted around Mount Fanzai Pang through the Hoang Lin Sun Pass and maneuvered toward the direction of Bin Lu, which was 44 kilometers west of Sapa. In meantime, the rest of the 149th Division pushed toward Sapa along two roads parallel to Highway 10. Despite showing excellent combat performance, the VPA 316th Division was finally forced to retreat due to the lack of manpower. At 14.45 on 1 March, Sapa fell to the PLA. On the eastern wing of the offensive, Kok Tiam succumbed to a night assault raging from 20 hundred hours on 2 March to 14.45 on 3 March. At 19 hundred hours on 3 March, all roads that connected Phong To with Bin Lu and Pa Tan had been under Chinese control. On 4 March, Chinese forces eventually captured the town, thus successfully blocking the supply route to the VPA 316th Division from Le Chau, the blocking position was at least 40 kilometers from the Sino-Vietnamese border, becoming the deepest Chinese penetration in the war. The 316th Division finally ceased fighting on 5 March. On the same day, the Chinese government announced the withdrawal of troops from Vietnam. Chapter 3, Aftermath At the end of the battle, the Chinese claimed to have inflicted 13,500 Vietnamese casualties, while suffering 2,812 killed out of 7,800, and 86 casualties of their own. On the other hand, the Vietnamese claimed to have inflicted 11,500 Chinese casualties. Similar to the fighting in other fronts, during the Lao Cai campaign, the human wave tactic was thoroughly applied by the PLA for every smallest objective, according to a Vietnamese soldier in an interview by French journalist Jean-Pierre Galois, the Chinese infantry advance shoulder to shoulder to make sure the minefields are cleared. When they moved out of Lao Cai they were as numerous and close together as rice in the paddy fields. As Sapo was a town possessing almost no strategic value, the Chinese campaign in the Western Front did not end with a notable victory. The PLA did, however, succeed in at least one of their key goals, engaging a considerable Vietnamese regular force and inflicting heavy losses, even at a high cost for themselves.